thank you for coming out to protest the meanest, most vicious, and most discriminatory government policy against refugees since the Second World War. In light of these recent IFH cuts, I question their paradox between the term developing and developed country, like Canada calls itself. Arriving in their middle age with small children, they were greeted by a Canada that was kind and welcoming. Within days of arriving, my father's family doctor became concerned about his health and sent him for tests that revealed early colon cancer. He was immediately treated and went on to live for 15 more years. Productive years. Yesterday was Father's Day. When I thought of my father yesterday, I thought of how lucky it was that we arrived in a country where he could access good primary care. And, no, and how I may have been robbed of 15 more years with him if we had landed on some other shore, like Jason Kenney's Canada. Yeah. <laughs> Refugees don't come to Canada to take advantage of our health care system. Refugees come to Canada fleeing some of the worst life situations that any of us can imagine. I think of a gentleman who worked with Canadian troops in Afghanistan. He's been accepted to come to Canada with his family, and he's on the trajectory to become a Canadian citizen. As of June 30th, he'll no longer have insurance for the medications his family requires to treat their chronic illnesses. Health care is a right for all. Health care, Minister Kenny, is a human right. Minister Kenny, you cannot wage a war against health care to deny people their right to seek refuge in Canada. People were talking about real human beings. Right now, I'm caring for a refugee woman who has requested that I deliver her child prematurely. Why? Because on July 1st, she believes she will have to pay for her care and she cannot afford it. So this is just the beginning for the next six days. Let us occupy the airwaves with messages to Jason Kenny. And what are we going to say? Health care for who?